Underhill, uh, Northern California. It's a beautiful day, and it was my first look and my first uh, chance to throw a leg over the race bike that I will be riding at the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb come June. I'm really excited. The bike actually is, is well proven. It raced at the Isle of Man TT last year with the Irish racer Lee Johnson in the saddle, and it finished third. I've been around race bikes for going on a decade here, and unfortunately I've never had, had the opportunity to go to Pikes Peak. Uh, but this year, uh, with Victory Racing, with the electric prototype, uh, with Don Kinney, with Cycle World's involvement, it's all, it's all come together. And I'm, I'm truly just uh, very excited for June to come, because I think it's going to be uh, something that's really fun and something that I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. prototype has quite a few differences between your average gas racing bike. The electric powertrain provides a lot of advantages um, over gas in that uh, it's got a lot of torque available from zero RPM, so in terms of benefits at Pikes Peak to get you out of a lot of those slow corners, um, the bike's going to be able to put down about 192 foot-pounds of torque from zero to about 5,000 RPM, so uh, that'll get Don up to speed in, in quite a hurry. Pikes Peak, I've been there twice now. My, my first year I podiumed, maybe it was too easy. Last year went there with a prototype machine that hadn't been you know, tested prior to us really getting there and doing it on the mountain. And that was a really rewarding experience, very challenging. Uh, ultimately, we didn't make the summit. So this year, um, I'm excited to go back. It's the 100th anniversary of this great event. And you know, I have a machine after riding it today. I feel like I have uh, a bike that's that's capable of winning this event, and uh, I'm I'm amped. <laughs>